Pitch on the way to Polanco, driven to shallow left. Coming in, Caesar on the run, going out, Russell. A fabulous diving catch! Addison Russell with a fantastic catch! I'm Ari Alagami with the MLB.com Fast Cast. Addison Russell raced 106 feet to make a sliding catch that electrified Wrigley Field on Wednesday night and helped the Cubs escape a bases-loaded two-out jam in the seventh. Chicago would hold on for a 6-5 win and a series sweep over the Pirates. Now let's have a look at the rest of Wednesday's action. Swung on and hammered. Grand slam, Hanley Ramirez! First pitch, line drive and a base hit in the right field. Hanley Ramirez is in to score, and the Red Sox have the lead again, 7-6. On Wednesday evening, the Red Sox announced that MLBPipeline.com's top overall prospect, Yoan Moncada, will join the team on Friday. The 21-year-old infielder is expected to see time at third base and bring some extra pop to Boston's postseason push. Stephen Cardulo with a home run. First major league homer for the rookie. Touch of all time for Stephen Cardulo. His 29th birthday, a grand slam home run. And it's a grand slam home run for Andrew Tolles. And the Dodgers come back from the dead. It is 10-8. Brett will score. Altuve in the third. And it's a brand new ball game. Line shot left field. That's it for a hit. Altuve scores, and the Astros grab a 4-3 lead. Kevin Sanchez gets congratulations from the manager and a big embrace from his catcher for a job well done in his return to the rotation. Midway through the game, the Orioles acquired veteran outfielder Michael Bourne from the D-backs in exchange for a minor leaguer. Bourne is hitting 261 with 13 steals in 89 games this season. Ball is history, a three-run Jimmy Jack. Five RBIs for Rudy today on two home runs. Johnson pulls one down the line. Fair ball, base hit. It's a bases clearing double for Kelly Johnson. And the Mets lead it five to two. After the game, the Mets announced that second baseman Neil Walker is leaning towards season-ending surgery on his ailing back and will make a decision on Thursday. We're certainly very disappointed that it comes to this and He's had a tremendous year for us, and uh, but certainly he makes the decision and it's in his best interest. The Mets also added depth to their bullpen on Wednesday, acquiring right-handed reliever Fernando Salas from the Angels in exchange for a minor leaguer. Wilson Ramos delivers RBI number 71, and the Nationals have the lead in the seventh. Clutch, absolutely clutch. Way back! Goodbye! Three-run home run, Kurt Neuenheis. Well, the play, out of time! A walk-off winner for the Tigers this afternoon, and they sweep the White Sox. Breaking ball, swung out and missed strike three. 11 strikeouts for Corey Kluber. Before the game, the Indians acquired outfielder Coco Crisp from the A's in exchange for a minor leaguer. The switch hitting veteran began his career in Cleveland and could help the Tribe's potential playoff run. Starts to carry. Hernandez makes the catch. Ghost, they can't believe it. Well, Gorky's Hernandez is here for a reason. The Yankees came into Kansas City and faced the hottest team in baseball and they took two out of three. They've now jumped ahead of Kansas City in the wild card standings. What an effort by Ricky and Lasso. Congratulations, the first W as a halo. And it's a complete game shutout. And what a way to finish for Matt Whistler. A new career high in strikeouts. First time he's recorded double digits in the major leagues. For more on these stories and for the latest from around the league on Wednesday, keep it locked to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.